Who would you choose first in the 2019 NBA? Do you take Zion Williamson or John Morant? We used to think that the NBA's future was in good hands with superstars Zion Williamson and John Morant, former number one and two picks who had immediate tremendous success and had us all waiting for the certainty that they would take the leap and become the NBA's top players. But in their fourth season, in a year where many players do take that leap and end up finding tremendous play, Darius Garland might be your pick. This film will focus on Zion Williamson because we've seen young NBA stars waste their careers. Speaking of Zion, where is your head, man? Do you want to be an NBA legend, champion, or superstar icon? Or have Zion Williamson's latest allegations be your top Google search? Should the Pelicans move Zion before it's too late? If the Pelicans don't trade Zion, he'll sign a $44 million max contract in 2028. He's averaged 26.7 points per game on over 60% shooting, while playing through an inconsistent schedule and these controversies on the court. Zion has been incredible, and also this has led to wins. The Pelicans were the number one seed in the Western Conference this season. So the question is, headed into the next season, are we going to see Zion's dominant play for an extended period? And that is a big question. Clay Thompson, they all love basketball to an absurd degree, which has driven them to work tirelessly and paid off in big time returns from injuries and Hall of Fame careers. And since entering the NBA, would any of us say that Zion looks like he loves basketball off the court? He loves a lot of things right now. I'm not in Zion's brain, but the questions here have continued to surround him and get distracting. So my question is, why is Zion taking so long to come back from this injury? And why are NBA legends yelling at him to get his head on straight before it's too late? I want to slow down and say Zion is still young in the league, but 90 games in three years are ridiculous if he's getting 40 million a year, and it feels like there's no rush to get back on the court. Why has Zion not gotten healthier as he's played? You can control how much you consume, and if you're healing from a major injury, you should be in top shape. Zion Williamson, a walking highlight reel, is underperforming as a professional athlete. When we watch Zion on the court, we are watching the embodiment of true young greatness if we remember even at Duke, he had this game winner against North Carolina. Just pure strength by Williamson. Watching this we can see the man is certainly not afraid. He has the mindset to be a player who looks like he could be dependable. Give me the ball and get out of the way, a playoff standout. Where is that fire on the court? We had that weird situation where CJ McCollum on national television felt the need to tell us that Zion had not yet called him. Yet we watched Zion in a big time national television ad throwing down a monster dunk as he was not playing in the 2022 NBA playoffs. And then we watched the Pelicans reach the top seed in the Western Conference. I do want to immediately say right now that Zion seems like a nice person, even just donated $2,250,000 to charity just this very day. And it might be an awkward truth in the NBA. An awkward one, but players do have children with women who are not their wives. That is something that has happened in the past quite a bit. We don't need to name names, but a few players have had over 10 children, and young players getting a bit too caught up in the NBA lifestyle is nothing new. What is important is Zion's support system around him, and where his mindset is going forward. Because it doesn't appear that Zion is involved with any drugs or substance abuse issues, and I don't think that excuses any of his behaviors that have kept him off the court so far. But my point is here, we would love these NBA players to be perfect human beings, but we're not perfect perfect human beings. At the end of the day, plenty of NBA stars have found a way to perform on the court, with off-court drama circling them. This is going to come down to Zion's mindset here. Does he have that mindset to go out and become an NBA legend? Because he has that potential. And I'm going to say I'm choosing to believe that Zion at the very least is going to show us a lot more than what we've seen. Do we remember the moment against the Phoenix Suns? Does this at any way look like a guy who does not care about basketball? No, not at all. To me, I think a few of these Zion stories have piled up now in a row, and he's facing extreme criticism. But in year 5, we'll see a big bounce back. When I watch Zion on the court, I see someone who as a rookie showed us he was immediately ready to fill the role of an upcoming NBA star. When he was able to play, he was suffering real injuries. But when he did play, he took it right to LeBron in back-to-back -back games against the Lakers. As a rookie, Zion had 29 and 35 in their first two seasons. Four players, Elgin Baylor, Michael Jordan, Oscar Robertson, and Williamson and Abdul-Jabbar led 50 seasons. The Pelicans were the Western Conference top seed this season, but now we're talking about the Denver Nuggets as an incoming dynasty. Maybe, 
But with Zion, the Pelicans were talented enough to be the top seed in the West. Talent is right there, ready to be tapped into. So with all these things coming at Zion, I'm believing in Zion's own words, which I'm going to end on because when asked about all this, Zion himself said it's tough. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you've already subscribed. Thank you so much for supporting.